Hello everyone to another update video on the Ukraine-Russia war. On the 25th of August, counter-offensive operations near Robotyne in Zaporizhia region continued, with Ukrainian forces reportedly making advances. Concerns have arisen about Russian troop rotations and reinforcements in the area as battle-weary Russian forces struggle to defend against renewed Ukrainian attacks. Meanwhile, in the Kherson region, reports of Russian military losses on an island in the Dnipro River Delta have sparked outrage in parts of the Russian information space. Russian mill bloggers have criticized the Russian military command for failing to address systemic issues among forces in the region. In Crimea, Ukrainian drones targeted a Russian duty station, leading to conflicting claims about the success of the attack. Russian authorities asserted that all drones were intercepted, while Ukrainian sources maintained that explosions were reported in the region. Moreover, Russian forces attempted a missile and drone strike in Odessa region, but Ukrainian air defenses reportedly shot down all projectiles. Furthermore, Russian President Putin's remarks on August 24th regarding the death of Prigozhin, the financier of the Wagner Group, have set the official narrative approved by the Kremlin. Putin firmly denied any involvement in Prigozhin's death, and Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov echoed this sentiment, calling claims of Putin's involvement an absolute lie. Lastly, some notable voices within Russia have deviated from the established narrative. Former Putin bodyguard and Tula region governor Alexei Dumin suggested that Prigozhin and Wagner Group founder Dmitry Utkin were not traitors, challenging the official line. That concludes today's update. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next report.